Hi everybody, in today's video I am so excited. I have a brand new seven piece collection to share with you guys um, from Painted Phalanges. And my shirt is a hint of what movie the polishes are based off of. Um, if you guys have never seen The Sandlot, it's one of my favorite movies ever. This polish collection is called Legends Never Die. It's seven pieces. Um, the polishes will be releasing on July 17th. Each polish is $11 or you can get the whole collection for $70 and save a little bit of money there like that. Um, all of the colors are gorgeous, you guys. The names are so cute with quotes from the movie. Um, if you're a Sandlot fan like I am, you guys are really, really going to love this collection, I think. Um, this shirt I got from Rue 21 if you're a big um, fan. I got it on clearance for like $5. Um, I actually have another long sleeve shirt. sleeve shirt. I think it might be the same picture, but it has a hood and it says, um, you're killing me smalls, which is another big quote from the movie. But um, I decided to wear this shirt just to talk about this collection with you guys. It's so cute. When I actually got this package and I started pulling the polishes out, um, I was reading the names and I was like, oh my gosh, it's based off the Sandlot. And I got so excited. Uh, the colors are beautiful. I really feel like Angie has a very, very fun um, summer collection here for you guys. Um, so let's start talking about the polishes. So first polish is called Yeah Yeah, What Planet Are You From? So if you've seen the movie, one of the characters' names, they call him Yeah Yeah. He talks really, really fast. Um, and every time he says something, he's like, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> um, so I thought the name was really cute. Look at this base color, you guys. Oh, and then look at this um, shimmer and glitter that's going on in the polish so so pretty let me read to you angie's description of this polish so it's a sun wash turquoise with delicate iridescent glitter golden green shifting micro flakies i love the description of a sun wash turquoise um it's it's very bright but it does have that um like she says sun wash quality like slightly faded or bleached it's really really beautiful um all of this beautiful iridescent glitter and shimmer does stand out on the nail the application on this is sheer but when you do this type of polish and you want the glitters to be able to show through the base it does have to have a sheer quality so that is understandable this was a three coater for me the three coats do go on very nicely though it's not um like thick or goopy or like so thin that it wants to flood the cuticles or anything like that um the three coats go on really really nicely i think that the iridescent um glitters and and flakies in there give the polish like a nice um dimension and shimmer it's a really really pretty summer polish you guys i really did enjoy this my swatch pictures of this polish are going to be three coats plus one coat of top coat and um with her brush which i talked about in my last painted phalange review but in case you missed it let me show it to you guys i love the brush on these polishes it's wide it has a nice um cut out that fits really really nicely into the um c curve of my nail and i don't have to do a ton of um, clean up because of the brush so if you like that type of brush you guys would probably enjoy the brush in these polishes um just an fyi but this polish you guys so so pretty perfect for summer pops off the nail has a little bit of twinkle it's really really beautiful next polish um when i pulled this out of the package i was so happy so this polish is called you're killing me smalls um that is like probably the most famous quote out of the whole movie um and it just it makes me happy so this base color though oh, look at this you guys so beautiful look at that shimmer angie hit it out of the park with this polish you guys i'm in love with this um so she describes this as a purple orchid with a blue green purple multi-chrome shimmer and lavender micro flakies all of the shimmer that you see in the bottle does translate to the nail very very nicely it's so gorgeous i love this base color i feel like it's perfect for summer but i also think it's a great transition to fall color because it does have that little bit of like a berryish um like a berry feel which i like to wear in the fall the formula on this polish you guys was so good two easy coats it pretty much applies itself um depending on application you may even be able to get away with one coat if your nails are shorter and you apply thicker coats i did two coats on um, my swatch picture will be two coats with one coat of top coat and Ugh, if you guys like the sandlot, I think you're killing me smalls like you need this polish just based on the name But the color is so so beautiful. I really really liked this one a lot
Um, next polish, this name was another funny one too. So this is called Forever. And um, this polish she describes as a bright slate blue with magenta blue micro flakies and gold green shifting micro flakies. This base color, you guys, oh, I'm in freaking love with it. It's so beautiful. I love these like um, cross between a blue and purple polishes. And then it has a bunch of these little like shimmers and iridescent glitters in there. Those translate to the nail really, really well. Um, the formula on this is really nice as well. Two coats to get opaque, goes on super smooth, practically applies itself. Um, the base color though, oh, so beautiful. Perfect for summer, pops off the nail. I'm in love with this, you guys. And then the name, so cute. Like if you've seen the movie, um, that's another like kind of famous scene from the movie. The kids are all in this tree house and they're telling stories about the beast, which is the dog in the movie. And Squints is actually telling the story and he's like, forever and he says it like over and over it's so so funny um this name just cracked me up when i pulled this out of the package like it put a smile on my face and um so cute you guys like i said if you're a sandlot lover i think this collection is gonna be a must have for you so cute next polish is called um you little pervert look at this pink you guys oh you know i love a pink has some beautiful glitters and shimmers in there so pretty um and let me just read angie's description bright neon pink with different sizes of holographic and silver micro glitters this is very bright um very neon the micro glitters and the holographic glitters stand out on the nail so pretty um this is perfect for summer you guys if you love pink like i do you're gonna love this polish had a great formula two coats to get opaque um goes on really smooth and the scene in the movie is where Squints pretends he's drowning so that he can make out with Wendy Peppercorn, the older lifeguard. Um, it's a really, it's a funny scene. So beautiful, beautiful polish again, you guys. Um, great formula. My swatch picture will be two coats plus one coat, a top coat of You Little Pervert. This was probably, these two are a tie of my favorite for the collection, just so you guys know. I can't hold out till the end to tell you because they're back to back and I have to just, they're so fun. Um, Next polish is called the Jet Pickles the Beast. And look at this green, so pretty. I like the name too. I think that's really, really cute. Let me read to you the description. Mint pistachio green with a mix of purple, yellow, blue, and silver glitter in different shapes and sizes and shifting micro flakies. This polish can benefit from being turned upside down before painting for better glitter distribution. I do agree with her on that and I did do that for my swatch pictures. I let it sit upside down for about 10 minutes um, to get more of the glitter out. I think next time I do wear it, I will let it um, even sit maybe overnight to get more of those glitters to come out because they were, um, some of the bigger glitters were a little hard for me to get on the nail. I did manage to get a few, but um, I would have liked to have seen more. Look at how cute that is, you guys. Um, so you can see here, there's like purples, purpley pinks, yellows, blues in the bigger sizes, and then there's some also smaller ones, and then some um, like micro flakies. I really, really love the base color of this polish. Um, it's really, really fun. This polish did take three coats to get opaque, and the formula on this wasn't like difficult, but I did want to get more glitters, and so the application for me was a tiny bit on the thick side. I think what I might do next time is find a similar base color and then only do the two coats and let the polish sit upside down overnight in hopes of getting more of the bigger glitter out. But um, it's such a fun polish. I think the name is so cute, you guys. So if you've seen the movie, um, there's a kid named Benny. He's like the best player on their like summer baseball team friend thing. And they call him Benny the Jet because he's a fast runner. Um, and at the end of the movie, the dog comes out, the beast, and he ends up, they call it pickling the beast. <laughs> um, but it's really cute. This color's kind of picklish. So I thought it was adorable. I really like it. If you guys are around my age, um, Benny the Jet might have been like your first crush too. He was like really cute in the movie. And um, I just like this whole collection just really makes me smile, you guys. Um, so I really did enjoy this polish. My swatch picture, this is going to be three coats plus one coat of top coat. But if you do decide to get it, I would definitely 
I mean, try the three coats first, see what you think. But for me, I felt like it was a little bit too thick. And I would probably put a base color that's similar to this and then use this two coats of this like, a, you know, kind of as a topper instead. So you don't get so much thickness. Um, but a really fun, really cute polish, you guys. Um, and next polish is called Wanna S'more. And look at this. It's really, really an interesting shade, very unique to me and my collection. Um, I don't have a polish that looks anything like this in all of my thousands of bottles of polish. So um, it's really, really cute. Let me read to you Angie's description. Melon orange with white, yellow, and pink glitter in a mix of shapes and sizes and golden pink hollow micro glitter. This polish can benefit from being turned upside down before painting for better glitter distribution. I agree with her on that suggestion for this polish as well. I did the same thing with this, turned it upside down for about 10 minutes. Um, you probably want to do longer, like if you're planning to wear it, maybe give it like an hour upside down or go overnight. Um, but it's a really fun mix of glitter and it's a very interesting base color. So I feel like there you can see there's pink, there's yellow, there's white, um, and there's different shades. There's also a little bit of bar glitter, not a bunch. If you're not a bar glitter fan, it's just a touch. Um, I thought it was an interesting combination. The only problem I have with this polish, and it's a personal thing for me, is I feel like it's very close to my skin tone. Um, so it didn't pop as much off the nail as I would like, but that's completely a personal preference. I think if you have a darker skin tone, this would be really, really beautiful. And I think if you have a lighter skin tone than me, you, this would also be really, really beautiful. I feel like for me though, it was close to skin tone, um, but it is a gorgeous polish. Three coats to get opaque. Um, it is sheer because the base color is lighter and the glitters do have to go through. But um, the three coats on this wasn't super, super thick or like hard to, you know, work with. It's just, it's a sheer color and it's going to take three coats to get opaque. So um, this is another funny part in the movie where they're in this tree house and the kids ask him if, if he wants a s'more and he's like, some more what? I haven't had anything yet. It's just, it's funny, but um, it's a really cute polish, you guys. Another name that just like cracked me up and um, a really, really like delicate, but nice for summer polish. My swatch picture of this will be three coats with one coat of top coat. Um, and then the last polish of the collection is called L7 Weenie. Oh, you guys, this name cracked me up too. Like all the names were so cute. I think she picked the most cute quotes for names. Um, this is a banana cream yellow with a gold to green duochrome shimmer and delicate iridescent glitter. Um, and I, that description is very spot on. I feel like this yellow is very um, like delicate. It's really, really cute on the nails. I think this would be perfect like for spring and summer. I would wear this like an Easter Manny. It's really, really pretty. Um, the iridescent flaky is just very lightly like twinkle off the nail. You can tell that they're there. It's really, really pretty. This does take three coats to get opaque, and I do feel like it is a tiny bit thick on those three coats. So what you may want to do again is find a similar base color and then wear this more as a topper so you get the twinkle from the iridescent glitters um, to come through without the thickness. Um, so that's how I would try it next time I wear it. But um, I love the name, you guys, L7 Weenie. So if you have seen the movie, I think a baseball game, and I think that's one of the insults you know that they tell each other back and forth <laughs> l7 weenie so um this collection you guys is so so fun so so perfect for summer i love the sandlot theme and like I already told you guys before, um, these are for sure my two favorites of the collection. This is Forever and You Little Pervert. But everything else is really, really fun. Um, the colors are very bright. This whole collection just really made me smile, you guys. Um, so keep an eye out on my Instagram. I will be posting my swatch pictures of these polishes on there as well. I'll link 
Painted Phalanges Instagram below and their website where you can buy the full collection. Angie, the creator of the polishes, also has her own YouTube channel. I'll link her down below. She does a bunch of great um, reviews, swatches, um, haul videos. She has a really fun YouTube channel, so I'll link that down below. Go and check her out. That is it for this review of the Legends Never Die collection from Painted Phalanges. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing my thoughts on this polishes. Um, don't forget they are available starting June 17th at PaintedPhalanges.com. So that is it for this video. If you liked it, please make sure to click the like button down below. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do. And thanks you guys for watching. I hope you're having an amazing evening. I'll see you on the next video. Bye.